Okay, so we've discussed how to work with the developers hub and now I would like to introduce you localized command line interface which is called localized uh, CLI to Go because, well, <laughs> it is written in Go language but still the name is quite interesting. You can just proceed to this GitHub repository here and then scroll to the bottom and you can learn how to get started with uh, this uh, command line interface. So there are instructions for different operating systems. Well, maybe the simplest way is to actually download one of the releases by proceeding here and then you're going to see there are releases for various operating operating systems, so you just pick what works for you and then you should be able to uh, start using this interface. Also make sure to read uh, this information here, because first of all, of course, you will need to use uh, the API token that we've already generated, so all endpoints require the presence of this token param, so uh, bear that in mind. Also, if you are going to provide a boolean param, then you must specify this equal sign so this is the correct way to pass such params. Then if you are going to use strings, uh, those strings should be comma separated like this. And finally, sometimes you might need uh, to provide JSON objects. And in this case, uh, those objects uh, must be encoded properly and you can use uh, this tool to actually perform uh, this encoding. Basically, that's it. Then you can just choose one of the commands uh, that you would like to work with. Okay, for example, let's try to retrieve a project. Therefore, or we're interested in this project thing, you're going to see, well, the token param is global, and then we're interested in project retrieve, in project retrieve, so let's say localize to, then project, well, guess what, retrieve, then the token, so that's my token, and then the project ID, and here is my project ID, I'm going to provide it, and let's press enter. And, well, take a look at that. We can see that our um, app development project is returned for us with all the data, and we can see this Afrikaans language that we have created in the previous lesson, which means that everything is really nice. Okay, let's maybe open this manage keys uh, section and inside you can, for example, create a new translation key. There are lots of available options, but most of them are not mandatory. Uh, therefore, let's say localize to key create, so the token is this one, the project ID once again is this one, and now I would like to provide the key name, so I'm going to say key name, here is the corresponding option, and next let's say maybe CLI. Also as for the is archived, we are going to say false, is hidden false, is plural false as well. Then platforms, the platforms is going to be web and iOS. So those are comma separated because those are strings. And basically I think that's it. Uh, I think that's it. Let's press enter and hopefully it is going to create a new key for us. And here is uh, the information for this key and you can see uh, that's uh, translations. So, well, translations are empty, but we can see translations for every language that is present in our project. Let's return here and let's update our page. And we can see that the CLI key is created, there are two platforms, so translations are empty, but all in all it works, so that's that's great, so that's how you can use a CLI, nothing really complex here, so well, you can take advantage of that. And now I think let's proceed to the next lesson and talk about our SDKs.